Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. Today we're going to move over to the Audio I.O. Setup page under the Song Setup page under Preferences in Studio One. Now just remember, this is song specific. So these are just the settings for this one song, uh, which is kind of cool. And I'll talk about that in a second. Okay, if you're a convert from Pro Tools like I am, this might look fairly familiar to you. Uh, You've got a page for your inputs and also for your outputs. So inputs, these are all the actual input channels that you have available to you in Studio One. So if I pull up a channel in Studio One, in a mono track, for example, and I set the input to input one, then it's going to pull that information, that audio, from whatever is selected up here. So along the top here are my actual inputs on my physical audio interface. For me, I've got a big studio Live 24, so I've got 24 physical inputs. For you, maybe you only have two. It'll be a lot easier to to look at and to figure out. So for me, input one, let's say it's coming in channel 23. Let's say that's my PreSonus ADL 700. I can actually come in here and I can name it like that. So when I pull up my input list, when I'm trying to set the input for a particular track, it will say ADL 700 and it'll be labeled. Now you may put these, if you want to do it out of order like this, you can, I like to keep them in order, but in general, you can change the names here and it makes life a little easier. The ones across the top, these do not change. These are the actual physical inputs on your audio interface. So those don't change. Uh, One quick note is you have mono inputs and then stereo inputs. You have to set those up separately. Okay. So in, in Pro Tools, input one and input two, you can select them as mono inputs and then inputs one and two are automatically a stereo input. Uh, you sometimes have to come in here and actually manually set that up. So you add a stereo bus, for example, a stereo channel, and then you can assign those as pairs uh, within this grid here. Um, you have the same thing for outputs. So we've been looking at the input page. If we look at the outputs, then you can see the same deal. Here are all the physical output channels on our audio interface. So if you had a Fire Studio project, for example, it would have eight channels of output and then two more, I think, for SPDIF. Um, I have the Studio Live, so I have 24 channels of output and then a separate stereo output for my two track left and right. Here's where I set where my main output will go. So my main mix, my master fader inside of a mix, I'm having it go out channels 11 and 12. It's right there in the middle of the mixer so I can reach it. Uh, For a typical audio interface, you would set that to one and two. And then the other outputs you can use for headphone mixes, uh, sending signal out to outboard gear, whatever you want to do, and you can even name it. So let's say outputs three and four we use as a headphone mix. We can name that HP mix. And now when I pull up that output inside of Studio One on a send, for example, it'll show up as a headphone mix. One quick note here is this is only the settings for one song. So if I want to make this my default for all songs, I have to come down here and click Make Default. So you'll want to do that early on when you first start setting up Studio One so that these settings will stay there for the rest of your sessions. But you can still change it on a song-by-song basis, which is pretty cool. Okay, that's the Audio I.O. setup page in a nutshell. See you in the next video.